Hey guys, uh, oh, it's been a few days since uh, I've managed to put any decent content on, and I do apologise for that, but good news is, yes, your eyes don't deceive you, we finally do have the Panzer 3K. Now, a lot of people have said to me that the tank is horrible, most notably uh, other content creators, and you know what, I'm not them, they're not me. They play the tank in their own way, I play mine in my own way. Now, as you can see, I haven't played a single game. It says no data. I haven't played a single game in the tank. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to give the tank a little look see, a little overhaul. Okay? And the in-game description is medium tank Panzerkampfwagen uh Schwei Ofs, Ofs K. Uh the tank was developed with the basis of the late uh, Panzer 3 Ofs J chassis combining the Panzer uh, for us F2 turret and 75 mil gun the first design plans were completed in October of 1941 which actually honestly this is something they, that the Germans probably would have done um I'm surprised it doesn't have uh um Chertsons, which is the uh, skins that you see on some Panzer fours as well. I'm surprised they didn't do that as well, but probably because of the power to weight ratio issue. Uh, 110 average alpha per shot, 103 average pen. Mm. At tier five, that's you're going to struggle against some tanks like KV ones, KV twos um, that are ang well angled. Um, what else are you going to struggle against? Some of the Japanese. No, no, no. What's that? A Japanese tank destroyers. Um, Japanese heavies um you will struggle against um american heavy maybe the the m6 you might struggle with uh let's see gun load 3.3 seconds not too bad um 34.89 degrees of traverse neg 10 gun depression finally decent gun depression 2.11 second aim time ouch uh, 0.37 accuracy at 100 meters. Yeah, this thing is not a sniper medium. Uh, just under 2k damage per minute. Uh, 790 hit points, which means don't get hit with anything with a derp gun, because you will get penetrated. Especially with 50, 50 mil of both turret and hull armor. Um, so, stick and move is your best bet, but with that aim time, that's going to be a problem. So, you're probably, we're probably going to end up having to swap out our, our equipment here. 425 year range at tier 5. Okay, with some light tanks, yeah. Um, 12.85 specific horsepower per ton. This thing is going to be bloody quick. Um, 7 second... Uh, uh, transmission repair time even with my my e50 crew in it now bear in mind this is a premium tank so you can put medium tank crews in from any medium tank however uh, my e50 and the panzer 3 offs k same same amount of crew so if i want to like power grind my e50 crew or even my e50m crew which is probably what i'm going to do let's be honest guys um i will definitely consider this um the uh, 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 T25, which is just a Skoda, and uh, the Hydralast, I don't think so, oh yeah, and even the Hydralast, I definitely look at taking the crew and doing a couple of rounds in all in, in all three, in fact, you know what, that's exactly what I'm going to do, would a Panther M10 do as well, it will, great, so I don't think the Mutts will work, no, the Mutts won't work, and the Kunitz Panzer won't work, uh, I end up taking the crew from my Kunitz Panzer and putting them in my mutts anyway, just for the lols. But uh, yeah, so the e your E50 crew will work. Your even your Panzer three crew uh, will work. So if you're looking at power grinding out your power th Panzer three crew, um, you can pop them in this Panzer four offs K. Um, so view ranges uh, and bear in mind this is with the current equipment I have installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these optics. Okay, so we're gonna. Actually, wait, for, before I do that, I want to double check something. So I do get an enhanced gun lane drive. And I do, yeah, so what we'll do is we're going to drop the optics for an enhanced gun lane drive. Hopefully get that aim time down below. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. That's much better. And make sure your gunner has snapshot. Uh, does my gunner have snapshot? He does. Okay, good. 
that's a good thing so snapshots definitely going to be required for this and if need be we will take a look at some crew skills okay so that will automatically give a snapshot which is fine we've already got that so we don't necessarily need that all right and so we're going to be using this tank i mean a turbo wouldn't be a bad idea and use this to hunt down um light tanks but with you and i only having 50 mil of armor even light tanks firing he so some light tanks especially german light tanks i mean you're not going to see tier eights five max you'll see is tier sevens and like i said even then so you, you're, you're going to want to load up on some premium shells a bit more than i have so that's what we'll do there we go keep the regular rounds for tanks that you don't need it for and so what we're going to do is, am I going to stick with this exterior? I'm going to be keeping this tank. I'm going to be playing with this tank a lot um, to farm credits, EXP, things of that nature. So let's, let's, let's actually, um, uh, hmm. you know, yeah, let's stick with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to whack on some bonuses. Now, bear in mind, this will be with bonuses. Not my, I'm not adding credit, a credit booster. I'm just adding combat and crew. And, uh, yeah, so let's give this a whirl. <clears throat> okay, we are top tier on, on camp, camp Zach. Zaki, as I like to call it, because everyone likes to camp here. Uh, plenty of tank destroyers, plenty of light tanks. Only a KV-220-2, uh, so we will have to hit the 2 key. Now, we are a medium tank with really good gun depression. So what I want to try is I want to try and go up north to the A-line um, and try and help out our rm6 if he's going that direction so first things first i'm going to wait to see what rm6 is going to do he's going to go that direction that's good let's see how fast this thing can shift all right so we're already at 30 kilometers an hour 32 okay 40 yeah we max out if we max out at 40 kilometers which is pretty impressive for a panzer three I'm not gonna lie that's damn impressive. Okay, of course, you got your stereotypical suicidal ELC AMX running down in the middle because he seems to think that, well, if Quickie Baby can do it, I can do it. No, moron. No. All right, so the A20 is lit up, so I'm going to stay in a defensive position. Okay, so unfortunately, our gun depression is not enough to play here. Okay, so we, we can play defensive. There's an M6. Okay. Okay, M6 is out. That was overkill. Okay, again, I'm going to get down. We have lost an M8. Right, let's oh that was a good hit arty yes i'm actually praising artillery normally i have i not you know that's another thing i will be doing some new merch guys suffer ye suffer yet suffer ye not artillery to live will be oh god two stug bees regular premium rounds should be able to get through this those stug bees got a, okay all right all right all right all right One of those, at least two of those were a hit. Okay, both the Stugs have moved down. I do. That's a hit. Okay, tracked him. He's, yeah, he's done now. So happens when you use a repair kit like that, mate. He's done. 
Okay, I got lit. Stugs pre waiting. Yeah, reverse speed on. Oh, and there's a T67 there as well. That's fine, that's fine. So it looks like we've won south, which is good. We don't really have to tap the two key that much. I honestly thought I would have to tap it a little bit more than I did. Okay, Stug there's lit. The more intelligent tanker in me wants to push this Sherman wreck and use it as like a mobile cover. Ah, uh, ha, 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 ha. Wolverine, you are sneaky little so-and-so. Oh, good shot on him. Yeah, I missed it. Yeah, shooting at targets on the move is not this thing's specialty. Oh, 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 shit. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's sorry, bro. Sorry. Got him. Again, that's why you always carry a little... You don't have to carry that much... Um premium ammo but it's always good to carry some okay m5 stewart again i'm i'm trying to set up a nice little cushy i'll knock this tree over Yeah, that whole knee, if he's got the derp gun. Alright. Yeah, again, like I said, view range is our issue. Right, let's. We're losing up here. We lost down south. I don't know how we lost down south, but we did. Oh my god. Alright. That's all I could do. How we lost down south, I don't know. To one ELC. We, and we lost down south to one ELC. Because that's all there was down there. Because literally the bishop and these two guys were up uh, over here. How, how on earth we lost this, I don't know. But like I said, with you only having very limited in, things in the way of armor... You know, you're going to get penetrated. So don't expect to 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 do to bounce that many shots. The fact that I bounced one shot from the T67 is amazing. Um, but you can do, you can have some damage and some fun in that tank. That's the first game. So as they say, on to the next one. Okay, so let's take a look. We got third class mastery badge. 92k credits without a credit booster, guys. No credit booster. We we made 92k. Okay. Um just under 2k EXP, 25 bonds, third class mastery badge. We did ammo rack tracks loader uh engine on that stug. So yeah, we can we we can there you go. We come top with damage and EXP and kills on our team. Again, that T67 knew what it was doing. Uh, so props to this team. You know, good luck. You know, it was great. It was good. They 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 did they did good. Uh, so props to you guys. 
And uh, yeah, so uh, we are, unfortunately, I forgot to <laughs> enable crew acceleration, is what it is. Because <laughs> this tank's too small. Tier 5s don't get the ability to uh, modify themselves a little bit. So that kind of sucked. But point was, let's take a look at how much we pulled away with, uh, even at the end. Uh, so yeah, so we walked away with uh, 90k, pretty much. Just under 90k. Uh, we did get 65k for completing a mission, though. Uh, and even without that, we still would have cleared 25k. So, not a bad little... Now, if I had a credit booster on, who knows? Uh, the reason why I'm not running credit boosters right now is because I'm running low on them. And uh, with me being the current only clan member, I can't exactly do clan battles to get the uh, boosters to... Uh, boost that way and most people only join clans for clan boosters so it's kind of like a once you're in that circle you're in that circle but unless you're in that circle you're not in that circle which makes no sense i genuinely think if you're in a clan regardless of its size you should be able to get like a trickle amount of of um the resources in the, the quote-unquote in-game resources that are needed to um uh, build your own boosters now again the downside to one playing on the north america in the na server this early and two the tier i'm at matchmaker is going to take a while all right another heavy uh, pseudo heavily armored tank compared to me that's fine um again where am i going to go i'm actually going to go down the k line um and you're thinking wait a minute you've got like no armor exactly i don't but I have a good fast firing punchy gun. Um, if I happen, and, and most of these tanks are all lightly armored now. The only one who has a, any armor is the Sherman and the KV, KV 1SA. So if I can get in, into the ravine and uh, do my uh, matrix thing, I am going to enjoy life. Uh, yeah, like I said, it is pretty fast. I mean, for a, a little medium tank without a turbo. I would hate to see this thing with like Bond Turbo or something put on it. Uh, in fact, I might do that later on today in, in today's stream. Is um, just, just to see what this little thing can do. Um, again, its only downside is its view range. Um, so I might actually swap out the vents for optics, of course. There's that little piece of crap light tank. Because our light tanks both went north. Because, you know, why wouldn't they? Nice. I fire a lot faster than you do, mate. Is my gun accurate enough to get that pixel? No, 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 no. Oh, well. He's regretting life. I've got a T6 medium with me. Nice. Let's see. I'm going to roll forward. <gasps> oh, we derped our shot. Ah, uh, Again, the, the bloom on this thing is pretty white. Okay, we've got a Cruiser 4 with his little, little dacky dacky gun. Ah. Yeah, got you that time. Oh, come on. It's amazing how he can rock back and forth. Oh. Fuck off, you annoying piece of shit. Come on. Oh, good, 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 good. Missed. That one hit.
There's only so much I can do now. <laughs> okay, so they've lost their heavy and a loosh. Yeah, I Matilda, if you're gonna go, go. Seriously, if you're gonna go, go, mate. I gotta back up because I am royally fucked. Right, I'm trying to get out of his auto proxy spot range. Yeah. Oh, really? Really? You really? You have an automatic fire extinguisher at tier four? No. Oh, you don't. So what was that then? That that was that was you using macros then? Guess what? Sorry, mate. You don't you don't use automatic fire extinguishers at that tier. You just don't. It's not nowhere near cost effective. So I'm telling you right now, he's running macros. And if you're running a macro, fuck you. Fuck you. But not too bad. Not too shabby. As you can see, they go right through your turret. This is your issue. Now I know technically did i play well ah uh, i took too many hits to be honest with you from the kv1s uh but you know from the kv uh, uh, uh 1s a yeah it's an auto loader i don't care exactly you even put an auto loader in a kv1 for crying out loud enough with the auto loaders for gaming i've 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 said it to a blue in the face but all in all um is the tank good yes i'm gonna have to work on looking at the modules because it's clear that uh, view range is what sucks in this tank right now. Even with my, my T50 crew that basically can see the ins, ins and outs of everything. Bro, you put, just just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, face that direction behind you. No, right in front of you. Right in front of you. SU-76. SU-76. Oh, he's behind a rock. Oh. Bro, no. What are you doing? What are you... Why is all of our tank destroyers still camping? Like, are you for real? You're going to get torn, torn apart, mate. You're going to get torn apart. You're going to get torn apart. Will you stop being side on? Stop being side on. Oh, my God. You're dead. Behind you, moron. Just, just why? Just why? why you seriously m10s even the m8 have speed they camp the s the sau 40 has no speed decides to actually move just <sighs> please add the captain jack please move mean here because i'm sorry if your fucking tank destroyer has mobility in mind as captain jack says please move you know that 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 was abysmal that was absolutely abysmal you've got fucking tier four tanks using premium consumables and wondering why they're not making money or not getting out of tier four why is premium consumables even a, an option to tanks below tier five i don't know on to the next one and we're back god that was a long wait Jeez, for you it was like seconds, but for me it was like 20 minutes. Like, Jesus Christ, is the battle going to be over? All right, so let's check out what we what we got. Okay, so we did fuel tanks, um, ammo rack, radio operator, tracks, uh, gunner. So, yeah, th and that was a third-class badge. So we, we can, again, best EXP and damage done. It, 
to 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 this M10, to this M10, I I I I went ahead and did something lovely for you. I made this for you here. Yes, I even made a meme for you guys. Please move. You are a freaking tank destroyer that has speed and mobility. Use it. Don't just sit on your ass all goddamn day. Now, clearly, view range... Yeah, see, 386 view range is an issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the vents. And everyone's like, what? Why, why, why are you dropping the vents? Bruh, bruh, why are you dropping vents? I'm, I'm dropping vents because I, I don't need to run vents on everything. But I will run optics. And uh, so we will run some optics. Hopefully that will get our view range up. Uh, there you go, 415. Much better at tier 5. Much better. I should be able to see those little pesky tank destroyers back there now. Um, but yeah, and again, we'll let, take a look at my crew's skills. So, my tank commander, of, of course. Of course, it's going to be me, you silly people. Yeah, we've got repairs. Uh, Brother in Arms is his zero perk. Six Sense is his free perk. Uh, repairs. Uh, recon. Eagle Eye. And, of course, Mentor. Now, people are like, why Mentor? Reason being is it's going to accelerate the rest of the crew. So, it doesn't matter if, if, it, if they're going in a premium tank... Okay, I don't have to respect that crew to that premium tank. Okay, I don't. So, case in point, if my tank commander in, say, my um, Panzer III, okay, and, and I'll even show you, she's got way more skills, as you can see, which I've got to respect her anyway. She's got way too many skills than these guys. So, her, her brother in arms is going nowhere. Okay, it's going nowhere, it's a waste. So what I'm going to do is take this crew, bung it in a tank with my com with my Cobra Commander. Once his mentor reaches max maximum peak, that's an additional, uh, uh, I think it's an like additional 12% EXP on top, which is equivalent to like two matches on a victory. It's a no-brainer. I it, So where you look at this crew, and it says battles left approximately to gain 1%, you know, if I'm at 60% in this skill and they're in the same tank as Cobra Commander and we win and I've got boosters and whatnot, there's a high chance I can go from that 60% to 70 to 80 to even 90% or even complete the skill out in some, some cases. And that's the whole point. It's the commander is the biggest, biggest improvement or letdown in your tank. Now, what I'm going to do, I t as I said, I'm going to respec her, so we're, we're going to reset her. Oh, I don't have the gold. Oh, well, I can't reset her now. I'll reset her in a couple of days. But the point is, let's get back to the K. Now, again, view range is it's let down. Um, even with a tier, even with a four, fourth slash almost fifth tier uh, 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 high skill crew, the tank lacks view range. Um, I don't know why or who decided to think that a Panzer III that had fairly good optics for the time, for the, for a tank at that time, deserves to have no view range. Um, I guess it's a balance factor. Again, I don't work for Wargaming. I don't claim to, and I don't want to. Um, sorry, Wargaming, you couldn't pay me enough to work for you. Uh, so let's get into one more battle. And uh, as they say, on to the next one. Okay, guys, we are on steps, and we have been bumped up a tier. So, yeah, the two key is definitely going to be needed for tanks like um, the M6, the KV-1S. Not the Crumb will be. Um, Easy 8, eh, if I get him in the sides. Let's see. Again, I've got speed. I'm going to see where the, the, the majority of the push is. We've got... Mm, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1... Two, three, four, five. They've got more heavies than us. But we've got more tank destroyers. And so I'm I'm just seeing where the heavies are going. Okay, so we got a Churchill with the droopy barrel syndrome. There's a cream for that, mate. Who apparently wants to show off the fact that he has 
uh, badges. Oh god, you poor bastard! I feel for you. That Brasaro is a pain in the ass. No joke, it is. I'm so glad I'm out of that tank. That's the sort of tank that you guys, my my, my viewers on Twitch, make me play to torture me. Uh, I'm also adding in a thing on my my Twitch streams now, uh, where if someone donates above a certain amount, they can uh, pretty much ask. You know, they can say, "Okay, I'd like you to play." artillery with ap only um and things of that nature all right so there's the kv1 all right i'm am i glad that they're playing defensive mm. he's getting chewed up go for it t50-2 all right panzer fours back there kv1s easy eight all right so we're gonna whack on our premium rounds we're gonna get into a nice three two oh yeah he's dead that was a waste of a premium shell okay box tank is up on the hill i've got no shots on box tank but he is taking a a beat in No, that's a pixel on him. It's not worth it. Nice. They've lost their overwatch. Uh, not worth it. Not worth it. Not worth it. Alright. If you guys stay there, you're going to get hit like hammered dog shit. You've either got to... Risk it, walk point. All right. All right. This is legit. All I could do. And use their own. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, get up. Oh, fuck off, Stag. Side of the turret and I'm bouncing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get behind the rock. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is the least, it's the lowest I could do. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Artie. Thanks, Artie. You fucking muppet. You fucking muppet. Thank you. Fucking thank you. You dumbass. You fucking French dumbass. I mean, that was the only play I could do. That legit was the only play I could do. Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. How can you miss... Sidewood shots on to a fucking French BDR. Like, for real, bruv. How? Dude's the size of a fucking barn.
Where are you going? What are you doing? Of course, look at the Hellcat. Look at the fucking Hellcat. The Hellcat is just sitting there. Tell me you're a bot without telling me you're a bot. Seriously. Strife Edgar 666. Tell me you're a bot without telling me you're a bot. You're a bot. You can join my blacklist, you dirty bastard. Lit Seriously. Tell me you're a bot without telling me you're a bot. Seriously, Captain Jack meme right here. Here you go. Time for a Captain Jack meme. There you go. Please move. Oh, my, my tank's too far. There's a reason why your tank has speed. And no armor. Use it. Again, I did. Second class mastery badge. Not too shabby. We hit the turret and the loader. I'm sorry, the amount of shells I pumped into that turret, the fact that so many of them bounce is ridiculous. Um, but we did 508 damage to him. Total five penetrations out, I think it was like, out of like seven or eight shots I fired at him. Yeah. Not too shabby. Again, we are... Let's see. We are fourth. No, fifth. Fifth on the same damage done. And uh, we are... Uh, fifth on EXP. So, I ain't gonna complain at that. But you, sir, are a smelly fucking pirate, and you wonder why you don't go anywhere. Strife Alucard. Bunch of wank. Tell me you're, tell me you're a fucking, literally, a, a moron who can't think for himself. Look at your fucking username. Anyway. So, all in all, what do I think of the Panzer 3K? Um, you have no armor, so basically play like it's a light tank. You have some speed. I'm not going to lie. This thing would be fun with maybe grommets and a turbo. Doing all, like an, uh, Unfortunately, you can't do... Uh, I would just like the ability to give us an alternate build, you know? Um, like you can when you first start unlocking the stuff. I mean, how how hard is that, Wargaming? I mean, you've proven that you can actually add it into the game. Okay, case in point, take a look at my E50, uh, not my E50, sorry, um, Kunitz Panzer. Oh, look, it gets the ability to pick different gear. Okay, so why can't Tier 5 just have the ability to pick a different loadout? So say I wanted to be a sniper for that match, give me my sniper loadout. Or say I wanted to be, uh, um, you know, a, a fox in the hen house like I was in that match. You know? Um, definitely... You, a seven second repair time even with my max tier crew oh you need that for the aim time do i really need the gun rammer though a three second load time no i don't think i need the rammer so we can take the rammer off again i'm, I'm still trying to find the good balance okay so if we take the rammer off do i go with hardening um Let's see. Five second repair time to that. 50% um, less chance for engine fire. 94% repair speed time. Um, it does increase our weight load, so our power to weight does go down dramatically, unfortunately. Um, but. Yes, phone. But. Um, mm, I, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Um, I don't... A spore liner might be good. Because um, I did notice that artillery, when the artillery did hit me, it, it hurt. Um, so an, an anti-artillery build, possibly. But we're more looking for... Ex, we're, we're more looking for survivability. So look at getting, you know, the improved hardening. 6k bonds is pretty high, though. Um... Or the survival improvement. Um, I don't have any in my garage right now. Um, but you, you can understand where I'm coming from, guys. Look at getting some kind of um, survival improvement. Um, possibly. But the two things that are mandatory is gun laying drive and optics. I'm sorry, but they are. If you want to make this gun 
and this crew and this tank useful you need the optics to see and you need to get that a three second aim time at tier five are you cracked wargaming like for real are you are you cracked are are you high do you do you need some help did there are some drug programs that you can get into you know I'm sorry, but you, you have to be on, on some kind of medication to think that that's even remotely acceptable. Um, vents, I don't think vents will help. Um, again, the reason why I say vents won't help is, yeah, it, it will uh, get your load times up. It will get your aim time, you know, technically up. What would it get? Uh, Five-eighths of a second is nothing. Um no load time from three to three six seven from 375 it's not worth it um the the view range let's see we go to 425 from 415 is it really worth it no it's not um you can get a lot more um You can get a lot more use, better use, out of something, like I said, the enhanced gun lane drive, the optics. Um, like I said, improved hardening is my honest thing I'd tell you to go with. But it, it will slow you down a lot. Um, turbo? Um, let's see. It does up your power to weight ratio. It does put your max speed at 44 kilometers, 14 in reverse. Um... Uh, low exhaust system that might be a good one you know stay set you know stay set stay set stay stealthy there we go um seeing as how what is our what is our stealth factor okay with that it would be 24 and 20 with dropping down to six if we fire um camo net would be seven um so stealth could be an option but with that accuracy of the gun being the only drawback 0.38 at tier 5 is no just no um so clearly stealth's not the route so like i said this is this is a very interesting tank because on my panzer 3 i i drive it around like a mad mad chicken you know Turbo, uh, uh, I don't think it gets gun lane drive. I don't think you can put a gun lane drive in it at, at, at that tier. Let me double check what's in it. Yeah, I've got turbo, vents, and optics. Because I, I literally drive this thing around. And yeah, granted, you know, the gun's, you know, got a much higher rate of fire. You know, much less pen. But it's the same, uh, it's the same, it, 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 like I said, it's still a weak armoured thing. But again, I use this thing mostly as a, as a counter sni sni uh, counter scout and as a fox in the hen house kind of thing because it's got the, the mobility and the agility to keep up with them. Um, this, however, doesn't. It's like, I will get this tank to work. I will. I might even put, ooh. Oh, I didn't think of that. Let's try it with oil. And a turbo. Do I want to put a turbo on this? Oof. Still only maxes out at 44. I think that's its hard cap. But we'd have almost 15 tons. We would legit almost have 15 horsepower per ton. Which would make us wicked fast. For a medium tank of this tier. We're rivaling Cromwell almost. Um, ooh, actually. Hmm. Or oh, grommets even. And stick with the... F mm. Decisions, decisions. Do I go with a stealth build? No. 
improved ro rotation? Um, no, because... I don't know. I want to say turbo. You're not, yeah. I'll buy an AR, I'll drop 2k for a turbo. Come on, there we go. Alright, this is our turbo build. I'm going to equal out and give, a, give me two more. AP shells. Um, APCR. Alright, so we've got view range. We, we're offsetting the weakness of this tank. That, ladies and gentlemen, was the Panzer 3K. I'm going to tweak it a little bit. I'm going to do some work with it um, on Twitch today. Uh, my pain levels are about a 2 today, which is really good for me. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And I will be going live here soon after this video, shortly after this video goes live on uh, YouTube. So until then, guys, keep your shells flying, keep your enemies dying. Cobra Commander is out, and I'll see you guys on the battlefield. Ciao.